<coughs> okay so so this this video is for participants who are who are actually trying to basically I'll, I'll just show you how to join the meeting session so so basically whenever we create a session you'll be getting this link so there's nothing you need to do it's it's very simple you just need to click on this link and if you're doing this for the first time it is going to download this uh, software so if you already have this software downloaded uh, basically on the desktop if you already have then that is not required so basically here you need to just a so basically you have to download this so if you already have it's going to open up in the zoom metrics or else it will ask you to download and then you just need to install that so if, if this is where you need to do so you can just click, simply click on download and run the zoom application so you can display the name name display so probably we recommend you to use the registered email names like let's say if you are if you are registered with some name probably you can use that email address whatever uh, email address but basically this can be any name uh, you can use your names so that it becomes easy for us to uh, you can also turn off the video if you want basically i recommend you to turn off your videos and you can uh, keep your email address basically here you can just use that or you can use your name so once once you you are this so basically this is what you'll see because the host whoever is hosting the meeting it has to allow you to enter the meeting so basically if the host we didn't start the meeting uh, basically he, he he just started the meeting if it didn't start the meeting then you will get a message you have to wait for the host to join the meeting first if the, it depends on the based on the settings so i'm the host so basically i'm going to my host pc so this is a remote pc and once I, this is something I have to do, once I say edit, so now once I do that, so basically now you will be able to join the meeting, and you can see the participants options here. So you can join the option here, so join the computer audio, so basically you have to select the right option, so you can test your uh, speaker and microphone if you want, uh, by using computer audio, or else you can just uh, go to this option here. So just test your test your headset and these things. And if it works fine, then that is good. Okay, fine. So one, once you click, this is something you have to do for the first time. If you are doing later on, you can click on this option here, join audio, and you can select the right audio device. So you just simply select uh, join the computer audio, and now you are. Uh, inside the audio now so basically you can uh, it depends upon the trainer whether he's going to mute unmute so if he has given a permission you can also unmute yourself during the class and completely depends upon the trainer so if i have disabled if the host has disabled this option so basically you cannot do that so additionally uh, invite options it, this is something is uh, something nearly not recommended. So basically, uh, you, you can see the option of participants here, and you can still share your session, but the host has to enable it to share your screen. So let's say if you have any questions to ask, if you can ask the trainer, if, if you can share the desktop, and if you have, if you just want to share something on your desktop, you can do that. Depends upon the permissions, and basically you can interact with uh, everyone here. So if you have any questions, you can type in here. So that will uh, go to everyone. So if you have any doubts, so basically you can do that. So you can just mute yourself from here. Uh, I would recommend you to be on mute all the time during the class. And once the instructor calls in between for questions, so basically you can unmute yourself or you can just type in that you have a question if you want to leave any kind of audio kind of questions. If any kind of small questions, you can just type in here. Okay, so this is something I, I generally want you to know the basic settings of the Zoom application. And the next time onwards, whenever you want to log in, let's say you can always leave the meeting and you can use your iPads, uh, tabs, or even any phone applications 
you'll find this Zoom Meeting application which you can use. Or even if you know the ID, you can simply go and open the Zoom application. You can either use a link or you can just simply go and Let me see where is this Zoom application installed because if you if you can just go to this, just keep it on desktop basically. I don't know where it is. Right now I'm using my public desktop. I'll just show you what on the side. So basically you can say join meeting. So if you know the ID, so you can also directly go to your So either you can use this link or if you just remember this ID, so every time you don't need to use this links, you can just simply use this ID, copy this ID and you can join the sessions. But remember when you are joining this session, you have to uh, write down the complete ID and the display name. Basically, you can they automatically run up the audio during the options. So this is an alternate way you can join, uh, which is something you can and again, as I said, the host has to allow you to uh, enter the session. That's something the host has to do. Let me do on the host side. Okay, fine. So this is this is something I, I recommend you to do. And next time onwards, whenever you are trying to log in, you can just leave it in the meeting, and you can join by. Basically, I think it will also have a history of the meetings, so you can know the ID. So basically, you can use that one. Just make sure that you are on the right meeting because if you are not on the right meeting ID, then you may end up joining any other meeting ID. So if you are using multiple meetings, uh, basically. Okay. okay, so thanks. Any questions, uh, probably you can ask the trainer during the meeting. So if you see these are two screens, you'll see either you'll see this meeting the host has to allow or the host did not join. If the host did not join, you'll get a similar kind of message where you have to wait for the host to join the meeting. Okay.